Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So today I just want to do a little quick unboxing, well not even an unboxing, it's an unbagging, but um, quick unboxing of a phone I bought off of eBay, just for fun, um, just to check out. So um, I got this phone off eBay for $18, just over $18, and uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and unbox it and I'll tell you some more about it. So I've already opened this, sorry, because I had to make sure I knew what it was because I get packages all the time, so I'm just like, want to make sure I know what it is. So, and if the title didn't already give it away, you kind of already knew what you were getting into when you looked at this video. So, um, it is a BlackBerry Leap, and uh, this phone came out back in 2015, and it's the last BlackBerry, uh, BlackBerry OS 10 device that was released. So, uh, I just decided I want to go ahead and check this out. Alright, so I'll go ahead and turn it on, and I'll give you some of the specs on this real quick. So, um, as I said, it came out in 2015. See, does it have any battery? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, so it came out back in uh, 2015, uh, BlackBerry OS 10, uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus. Uh, it's a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor, Adreno 225 graphics, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, and it can, it does have micro uh, SD storage up to 128 gigabytes. Uh, 2800 milliamp hour non-removable battery, obviously. Uh, no keyboard. Uh, it is a 720p display, so it's 5 inches, 1280 by 720 uh, with 294 ppi. has a rear 8 megapixel camera with 1080p recording, and then a front 2, meg uh, two megapixel camera with 720p recording. So uh, it does have, does offer LTE, uh, Wi-Fi 802.11b, G, and N at 2.4 gigahertz, all that good stuff. Bluetooth 4.0, micro USB. Okay, so we've got it booted up here. So, um... Traditionally, these aren't really cheap. Um, the uh, the seller that I bought this from had the had a couple of these, and some of them weren't cheap. Some of them were. The reason this one was so cheap was because the SIM tray or the SIM reader is bad on it. And honestly, I didn't really care about that. I just wanted to uh, check out the phone anyway, so not a huge deal to me. So um, hopefully, this is how it came out of the box. Uh, it was not in a setup mode or anything like that, but this is how it looks here. So screen looks really nice as it should. It's a 720p screen, so nothing to write home about. Um, again, we have uh, BlackBerry OS 10. Let's see which version we have specifically on here. We have a uh, 10.3.3.1463, and then that's our model number right there. And here's a little quick comparison between the other BlackBerry devices that I have. So I have the BlackBerry Z10, this is the Leap, and then this is the uh, BlackBerry Classic. And these are all running uh, BlackBerry OS 10. Uh, this one is going to have a dimmer screen because the battery is bad on this one and uh, it just needs to be charged. But the crazy thing about all three of these is they run the exact same chip, the exact same amount of RAM. Literally everything about them is the same except for the actual body of the phone. So that is kind of interesting to me. But the other interesting thing is this phone is the last one that came out. So this one came out two years before, and then the Classic, I think, came out in 2014. I'm not quite sure, but I just thought that was kind of interesting that all these phones have the same processor and same RAM and everything, but they uh, came out years apart. So that was kind of interesting. So I do have some stickers on the back here, so I can take those off and we can look at the actual exterior of the phone here. Oh, there we go. Ooh. All right, so... I guess that's just some discoloration on the back there. But while we're here, we'll take a look at the phone itself here. So as I said before, five inch screen, we have the two megapixel camera right there. We have our earpiece. We have our power key at the top here. We also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, as well as a microphone right there. A Little bit of damage right there. Obviously this one is not perfect. On the side here we have, I guess this would be your SIM card slot and it is. So we have our, that is really interesting. So we have a SIM card and SD slot right on the side right there. So nothing that pops out. It's literally just a opening for both. So that's kind of interesting. I haven't seen that kind of thing before. So, and then uh, if we can get to focus here, you can see it says SIM on the top and then SD on the bottom. So really interesting kind of thing there. Uh, it does have like a rubberized coating all over the back here. And then as we go down, we have this kind of nice taper. It is, it is squared off, but then it tapers off as you can see on the corners right there. And then we have this kind of 
uh, ripple effect on the back. On the top, we get the eight megapixel autofocus camera. So we have our camera right there as well as our flash. Blackberry logo right there. And you can see the discoloration a little bit. It kind of looks like, um, like pen, like someone got ink from a pen on here. Kind of interesting, but uh, the color is not quite a gray. It seems kind of like a grayish brown. So I'm not sure. I think this did come in different colors, maybe two different colors. Um, can't quite recall. And we have a speaker down here. So rear facing speaker, not really a fan of that, but uh, we also have our volume keys right here and then a center button. And then on the bottom, we have our micro USB charging port as well as our uh, microphone right there. So the phone looks pretty nice if you want to compare it to a modern smartphone. It's about the same size except the, well, the iPhone 11 is a little bit bigger, but it has a bigger screen also. So, so there's a there's a difference in size right there. So definitely a bigger screen on the iPhone 11, but kind of interesting. And then we have similar gestures there, <laughs> which is always fun to see. And yeah, on the back here it does say, bad SIM reader, everything else tested works. So we'll take a look at some of the apps here. So they should be the same, but uh, we have BlackBerry Hub, Contacts Calendar, uh, BlackBerry Messenger, BlackBerry World, the Amazon App Store, Amazon, our browser, docs to go Maps. Uh, we have Facebook and Twitter on here, LinkedIn, Foursquare. Anyone remember Foursquare? Does anyone still use that? Evernote. Um, we've got File Manager. We've got Adobe Reader, BlackBerry Blend, uh, BlackBerry Messenger, Messenger Meetings, YouTube, Password Keeper, Box, Dropbox, Smart Tag, Settings, all that good stuff there. And this is just something I like to look at whenever I look at a new phone. I just want to see the wallpapers on here. So here's a couple of the wallpapers that are included here. So we actually have quite a few. So, so we have dark cubes. We have dark dunes. We have dark plateaus, forms, glacier, gradient jungle, pattern blue, pattern dark. The polygon looks kind of nice. Let's see. Let's check that one out. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. We have... Uh, space, triangular, and then the only actual natural thing right there is the uh, this little wheat field right here. So pretty cool there. And you can crop that and set your wallpaper. Nice. Anyway, so there you go. And nothing crazy here. Just want to do a quick unboxing of this. So I um, got this from eBay again for $18 and just wanted to check it out. So this is the Blackberry Leap. Uh, so from 2015. And I'll definitely do another video on this uh, at a later date to give some more details on it. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Um, if you did like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more like this, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.